Oh, hey guys, Captain Dave Schneider, it's a guide's life. Standing here on a rainy afternoon in South Florida. Um, listen, hey man, I got a lot of great responses from uh, Captain Fussy Pants in the Q&A yesterday. And uh, I'll tell you, I really like doing that. It's a, lot, it's a lot of fun. It takes a long time to do it, but, but it's actually simple to do, but it takes a lot to get it timed up and, and whatnot. So I, I, I appreciate the fact that you guys are digging that. that that's, that's cool beans. Uh, but listen, today, today I'm, I'm kind of hanging out. Uh, I'm gonna get my boat worked on tomorrow. Something I haven't talked about is that I've been, I've had some issues with my boat here recently, and I thought Fussy Pants was gonna weigh in on that yesterday. I tried to keep him. I tried to stay away from the topic because he gets a little irate about it. But uh, here's, here's the skinny man. I, I, I had some trouble with my motor. Um, my plugs fouled when I was up in Michigan, and, and. And so I had I went to the dealership up in Michigan and they changed my plugs and 330 bucks later yeah for plugs I know um, they uh, uh, you know they put it on the computer and they they got it all everything was good to go so uh, but it just seemed like it was you know how you hear spark plug noise and such I don't know man it just didn't sound right to me the the motor didn't sound right to me um, I got back down here to South Florida and I don't know if I've picked something up if if I need to have my water pump changed or the or the 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 fins you know you know the 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 blade itself needs to be changed out i'm not sure but they're going to look at that tomorrow uh because i i've overheated my, my motor's overheated twice um if i i can run it at about four thousand rpms all day long no problem i start getting skinny and i start getting it up around uh 55 58 well no 52 to 56 56 50 um and she wants to overheat and I, I mean, I, we're talking about motor positions and things like that. Don't, don't barrage me with all the reasons why, because I mean, I've been running this motor for a while and I, I know where my jack plate positions are and I know where my trim positions are and all that. Uh, but I'm not sure, man, it, it's got me a little concerned. So, so they're going to get that looked at, but even, a, I don't know if that's a bigger crisis. Probably it is a bigger crisis than the, this other thing, but my pedal, my pedal on my trolling motor broke. I, now they think it's just the cables that are broken and I hope that's all it is, is I, but I've broken the cables on my Ultrex and I'm told well that hasn't happened a whole lot that hasn't happened a whole lot and, and I'm like well okay that's good but it's happening to me and and I they still it's been five days four days five days now going on five days um, and I still haven't been able to get it in and get it fixed I'm hoping that that uh, well they're supposed to look at it tomorrow so uh, I'll get it over there tomorrow morning but right now it's raining I left my boat in my slip for three days because uh, Frankly, uh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't want to deal. I want to keep it in the shade, and I'll wash the hull when I take it out. So it's kind of a trade. Uh, when I do take it out here, here's a tip for you though: if you take it out, if you're dealing with a lot of heat, put your cover on your boat to keep the sun off it. But what I do is I put a fan. I plug a fan in. I put a fan on the deck so that it shoots all the way through the center of the boat. In fact, I, I, I used it as B-roll the other day. You saw it in B-roll the other day in one of my in one of my uh, things. In fact, maybe I'll throw that B-roll up right now. Check this out. And so I, I put that fan in there and that drops the temperature in the boat substantially under the cover. Um, so if, you, if, you, if you're in a warm area, I, I recommend you do the same thing. It, it works. Now you do, you probably elevate your, your electric bill just a little bit. But I, I think it's worth it. I, I think the, the, uh, the trade-off is well worth it. The equipment is paramount. It's, impar it's incredibly important to keep it uh, in good shape. The other thing is don't leave stuff in your boat. Take your rods out. Take your tackle out. For God's sake, don't leave crankbaits in your boat ever. All right? Because they will, they will expand and contract. The, the painting cracks on them. All kinds of things. So, so don't do that. Make sure you get your, get your gear out of your boat. Get in the habit of pulling your stuff out, putting your stuff back in. Um, that that's just a really smart thing to do for those of you who are are mustering a boat every day. All right, uh, right now though, man, I, listen, I appreciate you checking in. I'm just kind of checking. I'm getting ready to make dinner, and I'm telling you right now, guys, I am the master at 10 to 15 minute meals. All right, and tonight I'm gonna make uh, I'm gonna make a little hamburger. I got some hamburger here that I need to cook up. Good fresh market ground stuff that's ground locally. Um, and uh, so I've got some uh, I've got some ground beef. 
cream of mushroom soup, I'm telling you, the sodium in this dish is going to be off the charts. So, Scott, you probably can't have any of this. I know you're watching your high blood pressure. Oh, I mean, you're watching your blood pressure. You don't have high blood pressure. Sorry, bro. Anyway, so I throw... And I'm telling you right now, guys, I am the master at 10 to 15 minute meals. All right? And tonight I'm gonna make uh, I'm gonna make a little hamburger. I got some hamburger here that I need to cook up. Good fresh market ground stuff that's ground locally. At, um, and uh, so I've got some uh, I've got some ground beef, cream and mushroom soup. I'm telling you, the sodium in this dish is gonna be off the charts. So Scott, you probably can't have any of this. I know you're watching your high blood pressure. Oh, I mean, you're watching your blood pressure. You don't have high blood pressure. Sorry, bro. Anyway, so I throw that on that. We'll see. Listen, Captain Dave Schneider, it's a guy's life, man. And I'm just beating the monotony here. All right, we'll see you in a bit. So anyway, dinner's about ready here. I'm really hoping that, uh, that they can get my trolling motor fixed tomorrow and, and, and get my motor looked at. Um, I really, I need to get back on the water here. Um, I, I, I did catch fish the other night. I had a trip here the other night. We went out China fishing and, uh, and we, caught, we caught 11, including, uh, including one of almost six pounds. In fact, it might've been just a hint over six. Uh, but uh, anyway, I'm, I'm itchy, I'm antsy, I'm, and it's raining, so who are we kidding? <laughs> but uh, anyway, I'm hopeful that we'll get everything squared away here. Gonna gonna sit down and enjoy a little bit of quick meal, get some carbs in me, and uh, go and play some GTA. So wish me luck. Hook setter seventy four. If you get on there and find me, remember don't shoot me. <laughs> remember, mom, dad, it's a video game. If your kids under sixteen, don't let them play. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something. There's very little that goes better than with a 10 minute meal than a glass of dark red wine. Cheers. Is that you barking in there? We don't have a dog, that's just my wife's ringtone. <laughs> mm. Bon appetit. I'll eat the green I'll eat the green stuff later. <laughs> Cheers. It didn't take more than a second for you to turn a whole world upside down. Turn this big boat back around.